Yes, sure. You know, I was already reading about the entire technological revolution in football during the pandemic. Yeah. And for the time I, you know, lived abroad in Sweden, and, you know, traveling around, I have like very good sources uh, that always help me to get very like updated uh, to the newest in football. So when I saw that USA and Europe were, were already starting this, uh, you know, crypto thing in football, I was like, hey, okay, what is it? Mm. So when I first saw it uh, and, uh, you know, I saw the clubs uh, that were involved, I was like, okay, we definitely need to take it down here to Brazil. But of yeah. course, I didn't understand a lot of uh, how it was working because it's it is complicated, you know, especially mm -hmm. if you're not from the crypto world. Yeah, um, sure. yeah. So when I saw that it was actually uh, a guaranteed financial return, mm -hmm. and I started to link that to the number of fans that São Paulo has and the great sales potential. Uh, for the passion, for the passion of the fans, of course. Right. Uh, I called the president. I mean, I, I I took the just I took my phone and called the president. And I say, hello, president. You know, I, I really need to tell you something. And I started to to speak and talk about you know uh, NFTs and tokens. And he right. was like, okay, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I just say, okay, you will not understand it over a call. It is indeed right. complicated because I am still trying to understand how it really works. Yeah. But one thing I actually can guarantee is that we are going to have like a fast uh, financial return and it's going to sell, it's going to be a massive thing in the Brazilian football. Right. Um, and at that time, it was in April, between March and April last year. Yeah. And no, no club in Latin America have had the event you know started with that uh so i wanted to be the first because sao paulo has a very good reputation in the history regarding the pioneerism and being first mm -hmm. on things right uh, and since we lost that for a while i was like okay it's time to recover that yeah yeah, yeah for sure. so he told me okay well sure i just told him you know just believe me and let's let's try to do it i mean yeah. if we don't succeed no problem we're not lost any money Right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, after that, I called the director of marketing and he were, you know, talking with other companies about it. And I said, OK, but hey, just give some attention to this one, because it's the same that is making, uh, you know, great successful cases for great clubs. I think we are in the same level as like, for example, Juventus and Fenerbahce and these kinds of clubs. So. Right. Hey, let's let's go this way yeah. and i presented him to the people i was speaking uh with from the socials part yep yeah and uh, it was very fun because uh you know can you just imagine how it was during the pandemic here we had like a different kind of levels and we were at the level purple which is over the level red of you know attention so we were right. not able to you know go outside go to stores or everything yeah. so yeah you know, and then you just jump into the crypto world. You know, I couldn't even explain how it felt. And the, but then the marketing director, he, he held some meetings until the deal was closed. Unfortunately, we were not the first club on it because it took time. Yeah. Um, and then it, it's like I told you before, all, because of all this vision and, you know, it's very dynamic. Right. Because we are dealing with countries with different time zones. So in yeah. my point of view, if I want to close a deal, let's say with, I don't know, uh, Dubai, which is seven hours, yeah. uh, you know, before, you know, I am seven hours before, then I need to be awake on the business time in Dubai because I need them. I want to, you know, close the deals with them. Yeah. Um, and then we had three other big Brazilian clubs uh, closing the deal with Socios. So we became the fourth. And in two hours, Sao Paulo sold 850,000 fan tokens and we raised $1.7 million. And so, of course, it was uh, incredible numbers. Yeah. Um, and then it proves what I told you just before, that the passion of the fans, of the supporters of such a big and giant club is something we as industry professionals need to you know, have a good vision on. Yeah. Because 
you know, regarding the players, the supporters are like the most important things a club just have. Like, yeah. uh, we are nothing without the fans. We are nothing without yeah. the supporters. So if we involve them, like fan right. tokens, of course, you are able to to be there and not taking decisions, but you can, you know, uh, be a part of the final decision uh, right. that will be made. So 